The day Kevin De Bruyne revenged his ex-girlfriend for having been unfaithful to him with Courtois. Explain to me, what the hell does this mean? <laughs> Thing is, this video has 11 million views. Like, that is insane. Like, fair play to this guy. We're gonna- I wanna look at this video. I do kind of understand what it's around. Don't you just love doing a revenge? But maybe we can do some research here. Oh, you got the Daily Star here. Let's be real, I, this isn't a great source. I wouldn't go here to actually beat good sources. It's more of a tabloid. Real Madrid and Manchester City played each other. De Bruyne scored a goal. There's this scenario where Courtois had some fun with Kevin De Bruyne's ex well, girlfriend at the time. Uh, soon to be ex-girlfriend, as you could tell by the title of that YouTube video. <laughs> what? <laughs> Eight years after the Madrid goalkeeper had an affair with his girlfriend. <laughs> So you're telling me Kevin De Bruyne got revenge on Courtois eight years later? Did Kevin De Bruyne not score on Thibaut Courtois in the Premier League at all when Chelsea played Manchester City? <laughs> she spoke about it, insisting she strayed towards him in 2012 after De Bruyne had his own affair with her best friend. Controversy there, I guess. This man would be, become the best midfielder in the world nine years later. <laughs> this man, what a suit this man. This guy has peak sauce. Oh, I find that hilarious. Eight years. Apparently, Kevin's parents said they'd take legal action if she gave her side of the story. In the summer of 2012, Kevin told me that he had an affair with my old best friend. I gave him the choice, her or me. I was ready to give him another chance, but our relationship was never the same afterwards. I then went to Madrid, and even Kevin thought that this trip was a good idea. I asked him beforehand, but something happened and should have never happened. But that evening, Thibault offered me what I was I had not received during a three-year relationship. <laughs> Is she? She's saying she never got a good meal from Kevin De Bruyne. Kevin never did it for me. He never gave her a delicious meal. Hate to see it. Kevin De Bruyne, terrible boyfriend. But you know, things happen. We don't know how true all this is, but Kevin De Bruyne is happy with his wife nowadays. Uh, Michelle Lacroix apparently is what comes up. Pretty sure Kevin De Bruyne has multiple kids, which is good for him. Uh, he's had some stressful times, but let's look at the time when Kevin De Bruyne got revenge. Not got revenge, sorry. Revenge his ex-girlfriend for having been unfaithful to him. <laughs> pretty sure that's not even her, if that's the case. I'm pretty sure she wouldn't even be at the match. 11 million views, that's insane. <laughs> if that doesn't tell you that YouTube titles are important, I don't know what does. <laughs> but let's see the time where De Bruyne revenge his ex-girlfriend. Champions League. 2020. Pretty sure this was just the first leg of the Champions League from 2020, literally right before COVID hit. Pretty sure Sergio Ramos got a red card in this game. You know, Kevin De Bruyne getting revenge. Great pass there. Great revenge pass. Okay, we don't need to see the same shot three times. <laughs> oh, revenge. One thing I want to say, this guy better have made a bunch of bank from this video. But the likely thing is with this is it got copyrighted by some company that had will probably buy UEFA, which is a little unfortunate. Vinicius. Oh, that's a great save. Holy. <laughs> but where's the revenge? Where is the revenge? De Bruyne. I don't understand with highlight videos. <laughs> How is that a highlight? De Bruyne just taking a corner. Looks at his ex in the crowd. Revenge. Jeez, I mean, to be fair, Courtois was having a pretty good game here. <laughs> Both keepers were. Isco! Oh, Vinicius actually does something great. And De Bruyne, he cannot believe. How can I get the revenge? Guys, come on. I mean, to be honest, Vinicius, I do enjoy him as a player. I think he's a great player. It's just always the end product is always lacking with him. Yeah, Sergio Ramos is still on the pitch. Oh, is this the moment? De Bruyne! Revenge! De Bruyne gets an assist. Revenge. 1-1 one, one, though. That that gave uh that gave Manchester City the away goal advantage there, which was massive for them. Now, of course, most importantly of all, revenge. Oh, penal. Penal. De Bruyne. It has to be. Kevin's like, this is my job. Time for revenge. Finally got to it, the day Kevin De Bruyne revenge 
his ex-girlfriend for having been unfaithful to him with Courtois. You do it. Looks at Courtois in the eyes. This is for eight years ago. Ooh! The broiler gets revenge! No, he doesn't get revenge, he revenges! Let's go! I'm pretty sure that isn't her. <laughs> That's not her. So that is what's in the video. <laughs> That's not the same person. <laughs> Or if it's this person, that's not the same person. Or this. Oh, the art of clickbait, you love to see it. <laughs> oh, the revenge from a different angle. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's too funny. Then <laughs> here we go, Sergio Ramos gets a red card. I mean, to be honest, probably needed to do that, or it was gonna be a goal. Then again, it's Gabriel Jesus. He I don't know if he was in the best form at the time, but that kind of wrecked Real Madrid's chance in the second leg where I'm pretty sure City won the second leg. But it was fine because City lost to Leon in the round after. The revenge was done. De Bruyne, goal and assist for something that happened eight years ago prior to this. Incredible scenes. I mean, great highlight video though. Probably the funniest title I've ever read in my life. <laughs> but there's uh, one more thing I want to do before I'm probably going to have to head out. We need to find Nuno... Nuno the man. So he had a TikTok I saw this morning which <laughs> had me dying. <laughs> so if you don't know, okay, gotta go FC Wonder Kid. They're killing it on TikTok. They're fantastic. I remember like a month before the year, say like 20k followers. Now they're at over 200k. There's two guys. And one of the guys has an inc incredible Portuguese accent. Um, obviously knows how to um, pronounce very well. This is how I would play Portugal. I play Patricio. Yeah. Nuno Mendes at the left. Pep. Ruben Dias. Cancel. Then the three in midfield. I'm going to go bold. I'm going to go Bruno. Mm -hmm. Palhinha. And Renato. I have a sort of TikTok that works, a format, the type of music in the background, the Smash Bros. I think they say bold predictions sometimes, but that leads us to Nuno the Man, uh, Noah. Great, great TikTok page as well. Make sure you do follow him if you don't already. But he released a TikTok, I, I, I was uploading my TikTok today, and I saw this on my For You page when I was on it, and it had to be rolling. So he's pretty much... Impersonating FC Wonder Kid if he was at Subway. Welcome Subway, what can I get you? Yes, can I get uh, an Italian beet on uh, Italian herbs and cheese bread, please? Cheese and toasted? Uh, no, thank you. Toppings? Yes, I'll have lettuce and jalapeno. Sauce? And uh, ranch sauce. Drinks and snacks? And for the drinks and snacks, I'm gonna go bold. I'm gonna get three cook, I'm gonna get a bottle of Tropican, and Cheese and onion crisp. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. And you can see these guys are loving it. That's you want your kid. <laughs> Cheese and onion crisp. <laughs> <laughs> Cheese and onion crisp. <laughs> oh man. That was just great.